In this video, I'll show you how to download and install Video OCR, a simple program that you can use to extract hard-coded subtitles out of videos and it's using Paddle OCR. Now, uh, this was mentioned uh, by Timinator, uh, tagged me and TechGuru0. I've created my own program to extract hard-coded subs out of video, also using Paddle OCR. I've run into issues with Video Subtitle Extractor, it utilizes Video Sub Finder under the hood as well and so on and so forth. So uh, that's just, he was explaining all that and also made a request uh, to Nixe or Nicolaj, uh, the creator of Subtitle Edit. I've also created, I've created a CLI version of my program. My graphic user interface is also interacting with the CLI version under the hood. So this would be a great way to integrate the extraction of hard-coded subtitles into Subtitle Edit. Hopefully we get, this gets to see the light of day someday. Uh, subtitle Edit would need some kind of interface similar to my GUI. Uh, I would appreciate if you would uh, also take a look at my project and could share thoughts on this. So uh, this is what we are going to be looking at today. And uh, this is a first of a couple of maybe tutorials. Uh, and uh, this is the page for Video OCR. And I'll leave all the links in the description below. Extract hard-coded subtitles from videos via a simple uh, graphic user interface using machine learning. Uh, the releases are here. I just want us to scroll down a little bit. Video CR, extract hard-coded subtitles from video, extract hard-coded banding subtitles from video via simple GUI by utilizing Paddle OCR engine. Everything can be easily configured with a few clicks. You can either install it with a setup or you can just download a folder with all the required files including the executable if you don't want to install it. Uh, this repository also provides a version of video OCR can be used from the command line in combination with Paddle OCR. So usage is pretty simple. You import uh, the video and seek through and all that. So there are also advanced settings. Uh, and under the advanced settings, we have things like uh, using a GPU and all that. Uh, and then one thing you need to note is that as for performance, the OCR process can be very slow on CPU. And I noted that using this in combination with a GPU is highly recommended. If you have a graphics processing unit or a graphics card on your laptop or your computer, then uh, this is going to be a little bit faster. So you can see uh, input video quality, use lower quality. Uh, if you want it to be fast, uh, higher quality and all that, you can see all these things, uh, leave it for you to read. Now, uh, let's go to the releases section. Here we go. It's as of two days ago, and this is, it seems it was released like two weeks ago. And then now we have the releases here. So I'm on Windows. Uh, and I'm going to download this one. I'm actually going to download the CPU version and the GPU version. So let me download the CPU version. So as you can see, depending on your internet speed, this may just be uh, take like a second. Or if you have a very good internet connection, then it's going to be a blaze uh, right there. So, so what are in a video CR version 1.1.1? It brings a few handy features and some bug fixes. Subtitles will now default to be saved in the same directory as selected video file. When browsing for file, the file name of the video suggested as the name of subtitle as the name of the subtitle file by default. Fixes, pop-ups appeared in the wrong position when the window was maximized. Text from settings, the advanced settings tab was truncated on displays with WQHD and DPI scaling set to 1.25. Notes, no further changes to uh, CLI, utilizes standalone Pado OCR. Uh, the GPU version requires NVIDIA graphics and driver version 522.25 or higher. So uh, this is uh, the uh, setup uh, and the setup for the C GPU version is the same. And because this is more or less of a video for introducing video uh, OCR uh, to you, uh, and also an installation. I'm going to only install the CPU version, but for the GPU is the same. Now, you'll notice that when it downloads, uh, it, it's going to give you this particular kind of notification. And if you click on these more actions, just click on keep, show more, keep anyway, because it's more or less not a program that is re not recognized or in quotes does not have certificates. That's my assumption. But if you'd like to kind of uh, see if uh, it has a virus or something, then you can just go to virus total, this, this particular page. And if I can actually just right click on this, copy link, and then just paste it right here and press on enter, 
just to scan if it has any viruses you'll see that it's a clean uh, particular installation and all that so there's nothing uh, uh, malicious whatsoever so we've got it downloaded uh, and I can just go to my downloads page and here it is video CR I'll just right click on it run as administrator and then just follow the on-screen prompts I accept next uh, and you can see where it's going to be installed and the amount of space it requires you can create a desktop shortcut if you want next then click on install it's just going to install all the requirements that you need for you to extract hard-coded subtitles from videos as SRT uh, and it's just going to be done in a minute you can see part of OCR extracting here uh, and then what else what else what else so I believe those are more or less the l different languages somewhere there so it's done and I can just click on finish to launch it uh, because this is checked and there we have it that's the user interface that's what it looks like you can maximize it and then you've got a ton of space more or less this does not look like it's for any use whatsoever let's just bring it back and uh, you can see the how to use but I'll just click on browse and look for a file with banding subtitles like this one click on open and uh, you can use the seek bar here and you'll see where the subtitles are and so on and so forth and just bring it back and you can see the output SRT is going to go back to the same folder right here uh, as your original you can click on save us and just call it maybe new click on save and then uh, you can draw a crop box so when you're here you can just press on left click and then draw a box if you know where the subtitles are uh, sometimes they may be up here but you can you may need to use this you can also clear the crop and once you're satisfied just click on run so it's going to start uh, with all the processes that it needs to do and then once it's done processing the images uh, part of OCR kicks in and because we're using the CPU version uh, of uh, video CR this is going to take a long time but what we needed in this video is to download install video CR and we've also checked that it does not have any virus uh, and now we are ready to go to the next tutorial on how to use video CR to extract hard-coded subtitles from video. All these videos are valid to you. Thanks for watching.